thank you to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. back to my channel today's video is a little bit more vlog style than what I normally do but I wanted to run to Home Depot and get some stuff for our front porch for summertime I want to do some red white and blue decor out there and I also need some more plants so we're gonna be picking up some of that stuff I'm also gonna be grilling tonight some teriyaki pineapple burgers and I wanted to share that with y'all we love this recipe it's so delicious for summertime so I just stopped my chick fil real quick and I got my spicy chicken sandwich and my Diet Coke and then I'm gonna run in Home Depot or Lowe's here and just a second Home Depot is actually right there so I may do that and see what they have for summertime and I also have some other like random things sprinkled throughout this vlog but my mom is watching Oliver right now for a couple hours so I'm gonna go get all of my shopping done and then go get him and then we'll go home and decorate but thank you so much for stopping by if you enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed I would love to have you but let's get started so I'm just sitting here in the Chick-fil-a parking lot eating my lunch and it was such a beautiful day it was like sunny and 75 and then all of a sudden just now the wind started picking up and it looks like it's gonna storm so I'm really hoping it doesn't storm look at that wind I'm really hoping it doesn't storm because I want to decorate the front porch so bad today because it looks like Home Depot is fully stocked on all of their floral stuff I'm so excited because today's video is in collaboration with Kirsty Pickens, who just so happens to be my sister-in-law. She is married to my oldest brother, Tyler, and they have the cutest little farm here in Arkansas with lots of animals. And she also has a YouTube channel where she shares lots of delicious recipes and grocery hauls. And y'all will absolutely love her. She is so sweet, and their little farmstead is beautiful. When you're at their house, you kind of feel like you're at Cracker Barrel. They have the string lights, the rocking chairs, plants, and it's just so dreamy out there. And her food also cannot be beat. It is incredible. But y'all head over to her channel when you're done here today. I'm going to leave her links in my description box below. Let her know that I sent you. Show her some love. And if you're ever from Kirsty's channel today, I'm so excited to have you. Okay, I'm going to do a quick little front porch haul for y'all. I went to At Home and Home Depot. And I had to go pick up Oliver from my mom's house. And by the time I got home, it's dinner time now. So I'm just going to do a quick haul for y'all real quick. And then we're going to grill some burgers because we're both starving. <laughs> And then after we eat dinner, we will decorate the front porch. Um, thank God it's staying light out for much longer now, so we can do that before it gets dark. But from at home, I picked up this little American flag pillow, and it's kind of burlap. Love that. I'm going to stick that on our bench out on the front porch. Eventually, I would love to get two little chairs out there instead of a bench and then transfer the bench to that porch, but have yet to do that. Um, lots of porch... Uh, makeovers coming soon because we have one coming in the backyard too but we're still working on getting contractors out here to do that but I picked up this wreath from at home too and I actually thought about doing one of those baskets where you hang the basket on your hook and then you put like florals coming out of it with American flags and I was going to kind of DIY that but I could not find a basket anywhere and so I may still order a basket on Amazon and try to do that and then transfer this one to the back door when we do our back porch makeover, but I'll have to see if I can find a basket that I like. Um, but this is the wreath that we're gonna use on the front porch for now. And then also from at home, I picked up this little star wreath hanger. And I thought this was so cute. And I was going, I was gonna get a little um, flower pot that matched it, that was the same kind of beat up metal. Um, and I had been looking at it in the store for a while. And I kept coming back to it, and then this other lady grabbed it, and so I had to leave without it. But we actually already have a pot on our front porch that I'm going to use, and it's just white wood. Um, and then I also picked up these American flags, and I'm hoping you can hear me. The washer is really loud right now. But I picked up these little wood American flags to stick in our front flower bed because 
we had these little Easter eggs that looked just like this at Easter time and they were so cute and I'm so excited that I found the flags because I thought I was going to have to stick like actual little American flags in there and I didn't think they would stay up but these little wood ones from at home are amazing and I'm finding out that they have these for every holiday so I'm so excited. We have that little rectangle flower bed in the front yard and five of these little wood things fits perfectly so I picked up five of those. So we got the pillow, the wreath, the flags. I also picked up these hydrangeas from Home Depot. And I was trying to find a red plant with red flowers to make it more patriotic. But I ran into these hydrangeas and I thought they were gorgeous. And they were also on sale. So I picked these up and I feel like when these bloom they are going to be absolutely beautiful. And they do have some blue looking hydrangeas on there. So I thought I'll stick this in our little pot in the front yard and then stick some flags in it. And it'll make it patriotic. So. Got that from Home Depot, and then these are the flags that I'm going to stick in it, and they have dirt on the bottom already because I was trying it out in our plant that's already out there that I killed. The plant out there is dead. The one that I showed you on my last porch decorate, I don't know what I did wrong, but I did not take care of it right, and it is dead. So we're going to re replace that today and put these flags in there. And then last but not least, I picked up this sign, and I don't really know if I like this sign yet. I have yet to decide. I got it from at home, it was 25 bucks, and it says, God bless the USA. I love that saying, but I don't know if I like the color. It's really kind of plain, and it's a lot of words. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this yet or not, but I'm gonna see if it looks good out there. If not, I'll probably return this. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start dinner. Will's gonna grill the burgers, and I'm gonna do the baked beans and the sweet potato fries in here and then I'll get to decorating the front porch in just a little bit. Okay, I wanted to stop and thank ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. Will and I love ButcherBox. You just order your meat online and they deliver it straight to your front door. And if you live somewhere like we do and your grocery stores are pretty much empty lately, this is perfect. You don't have to worry about not finding the meat that you need. They just deliver it right to your front door. They have 100% grass-fed beef, organic chicken, seafood, steaks, and today, if you order with my link in my description box, you actually get a free grilling bundle. And it comes with two 10 ounce ribeye steaks. It also comes with a five pound bag of chicken drumsticks. And it also comes with a free bag of burgers. So you cannot beat that. That is a ton of free meat. So we love Butcher Box, but I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this with y'all and show you what we got. Okay, so first things first, we got the 10 ounce ribeye steaks. I'm so excited about these and I cannot wait to use these. We actually just had our four year wedding anniversary and we haven't gotten to celebrate it yet so we may use those to celebrate that soon. We also got this big old pack of beef patties, six beef patties and we're gonna use these tonight. And I'm actually super excited because I texted Will earlier and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to thaw off the meat. Will you please lay off the burgers? And he said, I read the package and it says it's better cooked when frozen. So that's awesome. These, these burgers right here are actually better cooked when they're frozen. So if you come home from a long day at work and you don't have time to thaw out your meat, that's perfect. We also got these chicken tenders. And these are the best chicken tenders ever. Organic and free range chicken tenders. A ton of them. And that's another thing I love about these boxes is they last you forever. And we also got some chicken drumsticks. Lots and lots of chicken drumsticks. It says four to six chicken drumsticks come in each pouch. So that's awesome. And then the thing that I'm most excited about are these filet mignons. <laughs> because when it comes to steak, that is my steak of choice. And anytime I go to Longhorn, I always get the filet. In fact, I have always had a wheel by filets when we have steaks at the house too. And he's tried to trick me out several times and do like different kinds of steaks to see if I'll think it's a filet. And I always know the difference because filets are just super tender and delicious. So I'm super excited to use those. We got some chicken thighs that come in a package like this. And it says two to five boneless, skinless chicken thighs in each pouch. We also got six to 10 wings in each of these pouches. So chicken wings. And then we got a bunch of chicken breasts. And it's one to two in each pouch, so two, four, six. Six chicken breasts. We use this stuff all the time if we're making pastas or if we're just having chicken or sheet pan dinners. We use a chicken breast, so we love that. 
another set of the chicken drumsticks and I'm excited to try to fry these I've never done that before but I would love to learn how to like southern fry a chicken drumstick so that's what I'm going to use these for I'm excited about that and then last but not least we just have two pounds of this ground beef. So the way they work is butcher box sources from farmers and fishermen who made the highest standards for quality and then you choose your box and delivery frequency. They offer five different boxes for curated box options as well as the popular custom box so you get exactly what you and your family love and then butcher box ships your order frozen at the peak freshness and packed in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box and you get to enjoy the high quality meat. It's that simple. Another great thing is you can trust that the high quality meat you receive is better for you, your family, the farmers, the animal welfare, the business involved, and our planet. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a link below and here on the screen so you can check them out. Make sure to enter your email in order to take advantage of the free grilling bundle. And thanks so much again to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. So tonight for dinner we're having these pineapple burgers with teriyaki sauce and we love these. They're so good and they're perfect for summer. So I'm just going to chop up the purple onion and the pineapple and I'm going to get those on kebab sticks for Will to grill them outside. And then while he's doing that, I'm going to start those baked beans and Kirstie's probably watching this thinking, oh my gosh, she's using canned baked beans because Kirstie makes the most amazing beans in the whole entire world. She adds so much stuff to them and they're delicious. But Bush's is as good as it gets over here. And I also want to try to invest in one of those pineapple things that cuts the core out for you. But I have yet to get one of those. I need to order one on Amazon. But for now, I'm just cutting off the skin. I'm going to get that chopped up and get all of this going on the grill. And as for the sauce, I just used the Sweet Baby Ray's teriyaki sauce. And I also mixed a little bit of their regular barbecue sauce with it to make it a little bit sweeter. And these were so good. I was going to make some sweet potato fries to go with it. But then I forgot I didn't buy cooking oil, so I couldn't fry those up. So we're just going to have the burger and baked beans. There's no need to rush, so let's just... That grilled pineapple is everything, y'all. If you've never had grilled pineapple, definitely try it out with the purple onion and the bacon and the teriyaki sauce. It's delicious. And now I'm going to head out to the front porch. I'm just going to start by wiping down our front door and I'm going to put our new wreath up. I'm also going to add our new little potted plant out here. And even after decorating all of this for Memorial Day, I kind of still want to add to it because it's not exactly what I wanted it to be. I feel like lately I've been kind of flying by the seat of my pants and just grabbing stuff while I can because it, everything is so hard with baby Oliver. So I kind of just do things when I have time and I haven't really had time to sit down and think about what I really want this porch to look like. But for now, it does look really cute for summertime until I can get around to adding to it. This door shows everything, so I'm just taking a magic eraser to it before I hang up the new wreath. I didn't take my hydrangeas out of the pot that they came in yet because I'm trying to decide if I want to move those around to a different spot and get a bigger plant to go here. I'm so used to having that boxwood plant here that it kind of looks weird with a little plant. Um, it is pretty cute for the time being, but I just left it in the pot until I can figure that out. And then I just stuck some American flags in it and I think that's so cute.
Now I'm just taking my multi-surface spray and I'm wiping down all of the pollen off the bench and on the windows and then we'll head down into a little flower bed in the front of the house and add those little wood flags. It was starting to get dark outside, so I was trying to work with the porch lighting, but you can't really see those unless you get close up. But those look so cute during the daylight, and I'm hoping to get some lights for our flower bed to help them show up a little bit better. And now all I have left to do is sweep off the porch. I'm so glad that we finally have our porch ready for summertime. It feels really fresh and fun, and I'm gonna be adding some more personal touches as we get closer to actual summer. But thank y'all so much for stopping by today's video. I had so much fun filming this. Don't forget to go subscribe to Kirsty's channel, and also check that link in my description for your butcher box deal. You don't wanna miss out on that free grilling bundle. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I will see y'all on Thursday. Bye.